everything flows into appointments and flows out of appointments. Appointments are the number one leading indicator in your business. So I kind of set this up earlier for you. I hope you guys are listening and paying attention right now. Okay, because this is this is huge. Uh, an appointment, your best appointments are the ones that call you and say, uh, come list me. How much is this house? I want to see this home. Tell me about X. How does this guaranteed sell thing work? All of those inbounds are your best lead, yes? Where the appointment setting is relatively easy. Appointment is your number one leading indicator, okay? Everything flows into them and out of them and on to the next appointment, right? And you've got to build appointments every day into your business. They must happen. You cannot have a day that goes by that you don't have appointments. Appointments to actually get a new customer. It'd be like a listing appointment or a buyer appointment. Okay. Appointments to get a sale. That's like um, your 72 hour rule, writing offers, presenting offers. Those are your appointments to get sales, right? Um, an appointment to get repeat sales. After you get a customer, you make that first sale. The next sale is going to be selling them on becoming a referring agent, you know, paying them to send you referrals if necessary, getting them to reinvest or invest in, uh, buying at least one home a year as an investment property from you, uh, communicating with vendors and uh, and building out your resource and vendor directory. Okay, so making appointments with vendors, like we got Tad on. He's going to be on joining us here in just a few minutes. You have to make appointments with these people in order for it to happen. Okay? So that's your leading indicator and the thing that you want to measure the most and celebrate the most. Without them, yeah, mm, we got we got problems, right? And for a positive cash flow cycle and a financially healthy business, when you're meeting with people for the first time, you should be getting some money on the front end, some level of income in front of the transaction to create a positive cash flow cycle business. Okay. Some of you right now, you don't do this at all. You don't collect any money up front from a buyer or a seller. You just don't do it. And um, uh, and you know exactly what I'm talking about. You may have a cash flow issue. And some of you guys may not do it at all and don't have any cash flow issues today. But let me let me uh, shoot straight with you. No one, no one, no one would ever buy a negative cash flow cycle business. They won't do it. Okay. This is why real estate companies that don't collect money from real estate agents and don't collect money from customers on the front end, if they run a negative cash flow cycle, it is an unsellable asset. In fact, I would say you're hemorrhaging business and money. So you want to try to collect some money on the front end. That's the principle and rule to making your business more valuable. 